The Washoe County School District will be adding a number of positions and officials say these positions are vital for student health and safety. This was all presented at the school district's he headquarters where we now find Michelle Lorenzo live for us. So Michelle, what positions are they hoping to fill? Well, Ryan, the school district is looking to add 50 mental health workers that would be working on a full time basis, as well as eight new school police officers and a position that's entirely new to the school district called a threat assessment officer. The officer that will be involved in the threat recognition process. So if there is a threat or there's a perceived threat, that officer will work with the school counselors and school psychologists to understand what's going on, work with that student, work with those families involved, and to be able to bring that back to the department and let us know what the extent of that threat is. Now all of this information was presented today at the school district safe and healthy schools commission meeting. Now the new officers will be assigned to middle schools and officials say all of this is possible because of a $7.1 million grant the school district will receive from the Department of Education. This follows SB 89 which was passed in the recent legislative session that supports school safety. In addition to the positions, the funding will also go to academic supports like social emotional learning and alternative mediation, which is a form of conflict resolution solution for students in a school setting. Really we're looking at school safety through a very comprehensive lens and this funding through the state thanks to our governor and our legislators is going to make a huge difference in Washington County School District. And tonight on 2 News at 11 we'll have more details and we'll also talk about the hiring process covering School Watch Michelle Lorenzo 2 News. All right, Michelle.